Hey guys, we have another video here today to show you how we decorated our front porch for Halloween slash autumn slash Thanksgiving. Um, super simple and easy. Definitely wanted to reuse things we already had around the house from prior Halloween. So let's go to it and let me show you what I've been doing. First, we're gonna wanna get rid of any leftover summer stuff on our front porch. Right now we have a few things like some sand buckets, some shovels, chalk. Um, here you go, can you put this in the bucket? You can put it inside for me and clean up. I'm gonna say goodbye to summer. Goodbye to summer? Good. Because it's fall time now, it's autumn. Put it in. Another thing we do once the season changes over, we have this little gnome, which I bought from Oriental Trading Company. I think it was like 20 bucks, and he has a bunch of different holiday hats, and I just switched them out each season. So we're getting rid of his summer 4th of July hat, and we have a, what kind of hat is this? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. All right, so let's take him out, put down this thing. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put it on him. And look how cute he is. And now look, our little gnome is ready for, what is he ready for? Halloween. Halloween. What does he do Halloween? Mm -hmm. What does he do in Halloween? To decorate the rest of the porch, I have a bunch of stuff that I have from the years prior, so I'm just going to reuse a bunch of things. Here I have a three-tier pumpkin that I bought from CVS. I believe I got this for $15 and I used a 40% coupon, but it's just a basket and it's three pumpkins and it's really lightweight and I thought this was nice to be able it's a big it's a pretty big piece and I ended up spraying it with rust-oleum just because we leave this outside and I didn't want it when it gets wet I didn't want it to get ruined but it's super cute so we have that and the little pumpkin and the little pumpkin thank you Layla honey go to the camera so it's a little craft pumpkin you could either carve or paint these what I did was I took silver glitter paint and I made these little fun swirls and I ended up putting little crystal studs on it. So this looks super pretty. It looks like a kind of like princess Halloween pumpkin. So I really love this and I use this every year. And then I also have this wooden board that I got from Michaels last year. I also sprayed this with Rust-Oleum just because we're gonna leave this outdoors. And for us, I like to have decorations that are both Halloween and autumn Thanksgiving because I don't really want to have to change as soon as November 1st comes along. So I just like to start decorating now as soon as it's fall and I kind of leave it to be. So this is a really cute board. I believe this was $12. And then this is a garland. It's a faux leaf autumn garland that I also got from Michaels. It's 10 feet long and I believe these were $9.99 which I also used a coupon on. And it's great because I attach it the whole length of the banister. And what I do is I connect it with these little twisty ties that sometimes I get when I open toy packages. They usually have them attached to the box. And this is great that I have them out here because once it changes over to Christmas time, I will also hang the green wreath and I'll use the same twisty side. And this is a wreath that I kind of decorated, so I didn't do it all by myself, but it's just a regular stick wreath that I got from Michaels. It's 18 inches and I believe this was $10. And what I did was I took <laughs> two kinds of ribbons and I ended up making these loops here. So what I did was I crisscrossed over each other. So there's this ribbon right here and then this ribbon and I crossed it to make these big loops and then I tied it together with ribbon at each section where they cross. So I did that throughout the whole loop. Hey, come on, arms up. There you go. Getting her ready? And what I have, and I also bought this bow. This was also a pre-made bow, which you can make yourself, but it was just easier for me to get out of Michael's. And it was just a bow that I attached to the bottom. So it ends up having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops like this to take up the whole 18 inch wreath. And then this will be our fall and autumn wreath. I have a little ribbon here and I'll just attach it like that. And I also got this metal jack-o'-lantern pumpkin that I got from Michaels. It was $16.99 and this is great because it already has the cutouts and it's huge and it's big and I like it because it's metal and I don't have to worry about it getting messed up or like any squirrels eating the pumpkin. And I also sprayed this with Rust-Oleum just because we're going to keep it out in the rain. And what we do every night is I have this light here, this blow-up light that's from the dollar store and it's great because it's solar powered so that I just leave this out to collect the rays. And then when we press the button, it actually lights up this whole thing. Can you press the button, my money? 
and Leilani does this every night. She presses the button and then we light up the jack-o'-lantern, you see? So then the light goes in there and it kind of fills up the entire jack-o'-lantern at night and you can see the face. So I'll make sure to insert a clip of this at nighttime so you can see what it looks like. There you go. Help to pull out the firefighters. Yeah. Oh, this is also great too because it's actually a bucket with a handle. So on Halloween, I'll actually put candy inside and use this as a bucket to be able to distribute to the kids in case we're out trick-or-treating and we're not home when they come, they'll be able to just grab any candy. And also with COVID right now this year, we're not sure exactly if we're going to be out trick-or-treating or how we're going to be able to do that, but I still like the idea of being able to give out candy to kids if they decide to come out. So I'll just have this at the end of the driveway for them just to grab candy if they need it. And also with the leftover ribbon that I had from the wreath, I used it just to wrap the bottom here and make a bow. And I got these little plaques here from the dollar store, which is great because um, they just have like little sayings like haunted house and happy Halloween, like beware before you enter. And it's great because I'll keep one on the mailbox and I'll have one here too. So it just ties in with everything on the staircase. So this is great, super easy to dress up your porch for Halloween without going too crazy because I don't like having too many things to be put back into the basement every year. But, and we also want to be able to have somewhat of a clear pathway. I don't want too much stuff on the stairs because we still need to get in and out the house because we actually use our front door. And for where we live, we actually don't put out the actual pumpkins. Maybe on Halloween closer, we'll put out some pumpkins because the squirrels here have actually been eating all pumpkins. So I do not want any squirrels on our stairs or eating through the pumpkins that we work so hard to paint and carve. So we'll just leave those inside. This is our front porch for Halloween and autumn. So I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any tips on how I could spruce this up even more, but this is good for now. Hope you guys have a happy, safe, and fun autumn season. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween, guys. Say, can you say see you later? See you later. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> it has to go up. Can you say hi to the camera? Hi to the camera. I had to, I had to go. Say cheese. Cheese. Wow, that was a big jump. Let me see you do it again. Let me watch you. Let me see you sit. Come in the middle. One, two, three, spin. Honey, go ahead, go straight. Good job, Lonnie.